thing. Don't try to pick nobody else. He made you just because he was looking for you. Now let him strip you from you so we can see him. Amen. Amen. How many when you look in the mirror you don't like everything you see? And I hope you weren't talking about physically. Because all of that changed anyway. Yeah, yeah I'm marrying him because he's fine. Just stick around. <laughs> Beautiful thing to say, my wife still look like herself when we say I do. I just leave it at that. She looked like herself. Come in my office out the church. I'll show you our wedding picture. You say, who is that dude? <laughs> so fine can run fast. Y'all didn't get that. Fine can fly away. <laughs> well, Lord, I'm talking about me because I ain't leaving the church. So just like naturally, there's some changes happen. It should be some changes as you walk with God spiritually. Yeah. 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 If they can't accept me how I am, guess what? Nobody should accept you like you are. You should accept you like you are. When you look back from this year to next year, you should be able to look back and see some change. I got more patience with people. I, I walk in more love. The stuff that I used to would have cut your head, now I'm merciful. Uh, are y'all right? Yeah. Stuff you would have been hit before you would say, Scooby Dooby Doo. Now I just walk away and say, Lord, help her. Yeah. Have you ever had to tell people to say, It's a blessing I'm saying? Yeah. Woo, Jesus. Me yeah. and you would be fine. Wash your hands. You go dip it in 
the water, when a fish hit it, wipe it on your clothes and keep going. Eat your bologna sandwich. Now y'all don't want to talk to me. But see, see, the problem is, the problem is, you became hypocrites. And see, Jesus dealt with you. They, the, the Pharisees came and said, why do your disciples eat? Come on, come on. And they don't do the ceremonial cleansing. Yeah. They, they eat and they don't wash their hands. So Jesus said, you got a heart problem. Yeah. And, and, and so this is what Jesus said. He said, listen here. It is not what goes in the mouth that defiles the man. But it's what comes out of your mouth. Because what comes out of your mouth proceeds from your heart. Oh, yeah. He said, they didn't wash their hands, but you got a adultery, lying. <laughs> he said, all of this came from the heart. You need a new heart. Now, what's up here? I ate something, my hands was dirty, it came out my body. But what's in you? It's going to take a spiritual transformation. Can I just talk to you for a minute? You ever seen somebody did the same thing you did, but when you did, when they did it, it was ugly? But when you did it, you justified why you did it? Make up for me, make up for me. Not with me. With him. Your speech is going to identify you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on. They finna crucify Jesus. They heard Peter talk. They said, hold up. Hold up. He was with Jesus. His speech betrayed him. When you open your mouth, folks know where you at. Can I tell you something? Folks don't know you're a fool if you be quiet. But when we open our mouth and say our words, not when you're feeling good, that ain't the test time. When you're offended, that's when the true you going to come out. Say, I need to make an appointment. Well, you know you do. You know you do. But the doctor trying to work on you right now. What's his name? Jesus. He trying to work on you. The Bible say where a man treasure is. That's where his heart is. What you value is treasure in your heart. I'm teaching a lesson about the Triple A Church. The Triple A Church have a appreciation of the Word of God. That means if I, my flesh wanted to do something and the Word said don't, I agree with the Word. Yeah. Why? Because I have an appreciation of what God saying, not what I want to do. Yeah. Are you all right? Yeah. It got real quiet on that because a lot of y'all ain't passed that test yet. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But that's okay. Just, just keep making your point. Your blood pressure a little high. Keep coming to the doctor. Go. Keep describing that stuff. You know when people don't want to change, they leave. I'm going to get another doctor. What can you go that's really God's house and he ain't going to speak? And if you found a church where you're comfortable, it ain't your church. Ain't comfortable. And, and let, let me help my church because you got some uh, uh, false information one time, and, and everybody can put out some false information. When the Bible says turn the other cheek, that's not telling you let somebody hit you physically. Come on, come on. And you take it for Jesus' sake.